In Calgary, a major cleanup is underway after a massive hail and rainstorm pelted the city. The damage from last night's storm is widespread. We can tell you that there's reports of broken windows, damaged vehicles, and of course, torn up siding from the northwest to the northeast communities of Calgary. From what we've been able to see, the north and west facing sides of these homes were hit the hardest with street after street of damaged siding. Also seen dozens of cars with smashed windows, windshields, and taillights. Plus, there's been flooding, adding to the damage with several stranded vehicles, although EMS say overnight no injuries were reported. The Calgary Airport is also dealing with damage from last night's storm. Oh, no! Yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go. You can see the tiles and water raining down from the ceiling, pooling on the floor. The Calgary Airport Authority confirming that the damage is due to the hail and heavy rain. Both the Calgary Airport Authority and those living here in northwest and northeast Calgary will be dealing with a long cleanup process after last night's storm. Hundreds of vehicles were damaged in the process. All right, time to see the damage. Yesterday, Calgary was hit with a pretty bad hailstorm. Like, northwest part of Calgary didn't get it as bad, but yeah, yesterday, all of Calgary was hit with like a nice thick layer of golf size hail balls. And I am looking at my car now, and it's bad, it's bad. Ball. At first, I'm like, okay, it's not that bad because it was still kind of wet, but I'm looking at, oh my god, this is terrible. Holy crap. You guys see all those dimples? Bro, it's bad. Fuck. Why, birdie? Yeah, I really just should have put this in the garage. Like, we were hit with it so unexpectedly, like five minutes before the actual hailstorm. Um, we got the citywide emergency alert text, like everyone's phones did. Bro, my roof is bad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that is bad. That is bad. Let's check out the Subi. Oh, oh. Mistakes were made, guys. Fuck. I mean, I got PDR friends. But this is gonna be expensive ass fix. I was gonna get rid of this Subi too. Like what the fuck, bro? Oh my god, that's bad. It's it's, it's actually really hard to see with the oh okay, you know what? If I darken this up a bit, look at the hood, look at the hood. So many dimples. It is bad. Like, what the fuck? My roof is destroyed. Way too many, bro. Way too many. Mm. The body itself is okay. Dude, it's my FRS hood. Do I learn PDR myself right now? Oh, even my fucking... Oh, okay. Big, 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 big mistakes were made, bro. Bro, bro, bro. Look at my... Look at my trunk. Ugh, my trunk is destroyed. My brother's car is probably just as bad. I mean, look at this. Destroyed the rain visors. Might as well just freaking take this shit off. Like, what the f... Just shattered. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, see? This is semi unprecedented. I. Oh shit, guys. I regret not putting my FRS or the Subi in the garage. This is 
bad. Oh my God. I never expected this to ever happen to my FRS, but that's Calgary for you. I'm like looking at this, I'm like, fuck. That's a lot of freaking effort. Uh, yeah, I just didn't need this right now, guys. I should have at least put a blanket over the car or something. Damn. Okay, well, I'm gonna let my friend know. See if this is super fixable. Or just switch everything out for carbon fiber parts. It's just as expensive. This is bad. I mean, my hood is okay, right? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to do with my life anymore. Look at this. Look at our gazebo. <laughs> oh, hey, go on. Watch your step, bro. This is all glass. Hey, 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 go on. Oh my god. Freaking kid, look at this. Yo, I don't know what I'm gonna do that's crazy go on no 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 no! all the way around all the way around crazy kid this is so dangerous man I mean it's just like acrylic but still I gotta take a picture for the landlord this is bad it's when the gods think you're having too much fun in life they gotta present you with some sort of obstacle you know it's like hey you gotta slow your pace a little bit kid Here's a problem. Do with it what you will. This is, yeah. This is something else, guys. <sighs> All right. I want to show you guys how bad this actually is. There's like millions of little dimples. And you'd think maybe some of the wrap would protect the paint? No, not when they're golf size hailstones, bro. Look. Look at that grossness, man. First time ever after living for so long in Calgary that this has been pelted to this state of bad. Fortunately, nothing really happened to the carbon fiber hood. I wish my entire car was made out of carbon fiber because this thing is a beast. Let me bring the light over to this side. You can just see that it's completely totaled. Bruh, actually not so much on the sides here. No, actually there's a lot. I can see it, I can see it. Not as bad on the pillars, but still. Now I have two options. One, call a PDR friend to come over and help me get rid of all these dimples. Or two, buy a kit and try to do the fix ourselves. Option two means we would have a learning curve, but honestly, we'd save hundreds in the fixing up of this car. On the other hand, I do have a friend named Kenji who you've seen in the vlog before. This is his profession and he could probably crush this in like uh, two days or even sooner depending, but there are a lot. There's hundreds, hundreds. You can see it even worse back here. Look at that. Now looking at it, I think it's cheaper to get a new trunk and also maybe upgrade the hood or something. We can go carbon fiber hood. That would be a fun project. I just, I really don't think it's worth trying to fix, man. Yeah, PDR, especially professional shops would probably charge you an arm and a leg for this kind of stuff. And I'm sure they're crushing it after this weekend. I got stories on my feed of like C8s and Lambos where the windshield's completely destroyed, you know? And I mean, mother nature, bro. What can you really do about it? Except play it smart and put your car inside. This side got it even worse. Actually, this huge dent right here is for me back flipping off the car, so that doesn't count. But you go down this pillar and you can see all of the imperfections, bro. There's tons. You can see how the light refracts all over, all over. That's bad. But I wanna say, Subi got it way worse than the FRS. Look at the hood alone. Look how many. That is ridiculous. Well, we still out here learning lessons. Um, 
I guess for the rest of the night, I got uh, Anime Thon, which is an anime show happening in Edmonton this weekend. I'm going to be taking the Subi so that I can also install a new starter there with my friend Oscar. I'm just going to clean the Subi out, prep for the show, and then probably call it a night. I just wanted to see the damage. And now I feel even worse for even assessing. <sighs> Some good news though. I got a set of SDI taillights for this thing. Got these for like 100 a pop. So that's not bad for SDI lights. The guy replaced his SDI lights with red ones, which on a white Subaru, I think actually does look a little better. But we'll probably install these when I'm with Oscar at his shop. Red or white and red. Actually, that's gonna look sick. And then this is gonna be the last piece to make this car have the full SDI conversion. 2.5 RS, fake SDI. Okay guys. Now, usually for these long road trips, I tend to bring enough tools. I'm probably gonna bring my entire Stanley set. You never know when you'll need an umbrella. Now I go way more in depth with the things that I would suggest you bring for long road trips, which you can watch after you watch this vlog right here. I also recommend you guys bring your own personal booster. You never know, man. And also I'm gonna bring this air compressor, which we got from Timu, which you can see in my last video. And then make sure I have enough space for the luggages. And I'm stealing this from the FRS. Cause I snapped the one my sister gifted me and should fit. Perfect. Okay. Clean the interior up just a little bit. Got our lights, clean. Clean, X. And as for this guy, or girl, Renee, I'm sorry. Back to the drawing board. I mean, it's been on the drawing board. We were supposed to do a full overhaul on this thing this entire season, and I've been slacking, I'm sorry. But let me know what you guys think. Should I just hire my friend to do the PDR and pay a couple hundred to a thousand dollars to get this fixed, or Option B, opt for a carbon fiber hood and new trunk and just replace everything, which is a project and a half. Or the third option, try to get a PDR set and do it ourselves. Let me know. Okay, go on. I think this kid wants to go for a walk. You know, we can also see what insurance will say. They can at least cover some of the cost, if not all of it. Hi, friend. Hey, what the heck, dude? Hey, give me my shoe back. And then if I take these ones off, you're gonna switch. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I got you. Get some lights in here. Okay, one sec. We can go for a real walk, brother. Leave that, my friend. Oh my. Other than that, we are almost ready for the show. We got two suitcases here. I am just organizing all my merch right now. All my prints. Walk around the block. What a kid. Okay, look how happy. <laughs> just got back from our walk Came home at the same time Jeffy did <laughs> This kid recognizes cars it's too smart And then over here if you hear noise in the background, it's because I got the 3d printer printing something Here's one half of it and right now. I only really have clear filament that explains this but This is the third iteration. You know, you know or I mean if you don't it's from a game called Zenless Zone Zero Which I recently got addicted to let me show you guys the first prints. Got this one, which is from a peppercore file, so it's like very hexagonal. Actually, it still looks pretty cool, but it printed out way more than I needed it to, so that'd be a lot of sanding and cutting out. And then the other one, um, I had a little bit of white left over, but this is a little too big. It's supposed to go over the face. And I'd still have to like cut it out, put the lights in it and everything, but Zoneless Zone Zero. Just search up the character Billy Kid. Okay, let us prep. You have to now. You have to now, Jenna. All right. So before I end the video, just wanted to let you guys know that this weekend, for anyone who lives in Edmonton or Alberta, and you're gonna make the trip up from Calgary or something, the show happens Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 
at the Edmonton Convention Center. Beautiful venue, especially for cosplayers and people taking photos. I think they're gonna have a, a Natasha section, which I'm excited to show you guys. This is like one of the only anime conventions that actually has cars in their show in all of Canada. So excited for that. Other than that, I just gotta make sure everything fits in these two luggages, which should be easy enough. <laughs> Honestly, this is the part that I don't include in a lot of my vlogs, is the setup. Uh, this is for my stickers, which I still gotta arrange. And then I got my prints, which should be able to fit in here. No problem. Okay. So that's it for this catch-up video. I guess moral of the story, when it rains, it inevitably pours. But in Calgary, it pours hail. So make sure if you have a garage, park your cars inside. Again, it was so last minute when we got that emergency text. I think province-wide, everyone got this Amber Alert text. We only had like five minutes to get home and I was already like, hanging out with my family at this event called Taste of Calgary, which was pretty awesome. We thought it was just gonna be rain, bro. And then it ended up being stones. Could have been worse. Always. Lots to do. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Follow us on Twitch, subscribe, drop some likes, leave some good vibes in the comments, as always. Appreciate. I will see you guys on the next video. Okay? Peace. <laughs> Go Jim! The lovely boy! Aww. I think this is the only way I can sleep with Gohan. Because he doesn't go on my bed. I can't really cuddle with him. I'm just gonna sleep here for the night. <laughs> you good, bro? I leave you.